Hi, good morning. How are we all doing? Oh my God, it's day three. I knew it'd go quick, I knew it would. I can't actually believe it, how fast these 10 days are gonna go, it's insane. It doesn't feel like we've even really got started yet. Hi, Wendy. Okay, I'm gonna jump um, pretty much right in. I have um, failed in the preparation stage for this live. Well, I've not, but I'm just not as prepared as what I was for the last one. Um, so there's gonna be a lot of wing in it. So I hope you guys can understand where I'm going. Morning. Is everyone all right? Um, right, I'm gonna hang on to get my stickers. Just let me leave you there. I'm gonna stick an island bowl over because otherwise it can completely throw me off track. There you can still see me, can't you? And I'm gonna swipe the comments just so I can stay focused. Okay, good morning, day three. So today I am gonna talk about when and where you're gonna find those new teammates, when and where. Tomorrow, Lisa will be talking about um, different ways, basically attraction marketing, where you can attract those teamers to you and you like different ways of getting people to come to you to join. But today I'm gonna talk about um, how you can go out and you can find those teamers. So last, um, the first year, my first year in the business, I didn't need to really go out and find teamers. Teamers found me because I'd got my attraction marketing really, it was absolutely bang on. Then last year, I, through, because of a life event, my attraction marketing kind of went downhill. And I was like in a situation where I thought, right, I really need to work out how I'm going to go out and find those teamies, how I'm going to, um, I can't, because people aren't coming to me anymore because of my life event, my attraction marketing's absolutely rubbish. So I need to get some things in place where I can go out and find new teamies. So this is where... This is going to talk a little bit about what I did and how what I what methods I used and stuff like that to actually go out and find teamies. So, obviously, day one we um, we spoke about making our very own pair of opportunity goggles, which is um, like a, just like I tried to explain in day one. Basically, you wear them all the time, and it's when you go out when you looking at your phone, whatever you're doing, you're viewing through the eyes of the opportunity. Okay, so the plan is you're gonna be wearing them all the time. And um, what I feel is really, really, really important is your belief in the opportunity. How, because when you're offering the opportunity, how you feel about the opportunity yourself, sorry, I'm gonna say the opportunity, way I've used that word, I do apologize. How you feel about it yourself it's gonna really portray in how you make them feel, how excited they feel and how much they wanna do what you're doing. So it's really, really, really important that you are like really reaffirming yourself with how you feel about the opportunity, that you are surrounding yourself with people who are, you know, like within your team groups and stuff, people are excited, um, sharing your wins, stuff like that. Um, people who are positive about the opportunity it's you know there's it's so important that you believe in what sensei can do for people that is where you need to start when you're sharing it that is where you need to start you need to believe it yourself before you can share it to anybody else it's really important because i'll tell you now i believe in it more than i believe in any other opportunity i have got no qualifications i quit college um, God, my bank's telling me all my direct debit's going out. It's a bit depressing. <laughs> I've got no qualifications. I've got a quick college. I, I was on review at work several times because I couldn't stop talking. You know, my, my past before Sensi was not the ideal, you know, not like the ideal scenario for somebody who's going to be successful. But I joined Sensi and I just felt totally different about it. I was passionate. I was excited. I loved the products. There was, it was something that I, you know, I could really, it didn't matter about my past. It didn't matter that I couldn't, that I literally couldn't pass any of my exams or anything like that. None of that mattered anymore. All that mattered was how much effort I put into my business and I got paid depending on my effort. And that just blew my mind, absolutely blew my mind. Like I absolutely adored the products 
and um, I just wanted to share them and people loved them. I thought this is just like the craziest business plan ever. You know, like in my old job, you'd maybe get sort of a hundred, two hundred pound pay rise a year. You can get thousands and thousands of pounds pay rise a month in in a in a network marketing business. And obviously, I've seen it myself. I've experienced it myself with Incensi. The actual opportunity is unreal, completely unreal. And not just for people who want that, but people who just want an extra line of income, you know, a couple of hundred pounds a month. It can be whatever they want. Like the opportunity is there to be whatever they want. Okay, sorry, I've gone a bit off tangent. Um, right. So when I said about the opportunity goggles, I don't mean I want you to go out and be like, do you want to join Sensi? Do you want to join Sensi? Do you want to join Sensi? That's the wrong way to do it. What I want you to do is I want you to look and listen. I want you to watch and listen people to people. I want you to listen to when people are, I mean, there's so many, like so many scenarios where Sensi could be the solution to somebody's problem or it could fit into their life. So I'm just going to give you a few examples. Like if you are, um, someone posts on Facebook, does anybody know anyone um, any of any part-time job that's going? There's an opportunity. You literally could absolutely blow them away with the opportunity you could offer them. Um, somebody's complaining that they haven't got any money or you know somebody wants to pay some debts off. You could literally say to them, like I've seen you saying, about, um, I've heard you saying that, you know, you've, you've got this credit card to pay off and it's meaning that you can, um, you can't, you can't go out and you can't do this, you can't do that. Have you considered like your own online business? You could literally cover your credit card payment by having your own online business. Have you considered it? You know, there's just so many opportunities. So there's so many reasons why people should do it to solve a problem. But then there's also not only that, there's not only the problem solving, um, things to look and listen for but there's also those reasons why um you could see somebody would be amazing like who doesn't want to have an online business that is gonna act, could make them the potential of income that sensi could make you who wouldn't want an online business that could do that um so for example if you see somebody's really good on social media if you go to a restaurant and you have incredible service from a really lovely person, you you know that you know somebody's really smiley. Somebody makes you feel good, makes you feel like you want to go back to that place. Or you see somebody, um, you know, who's got loads and loads and loads. Like they're trying to set up their own online business and um, they're doing really well. Like you can start building a relationship up with those people. Obviously, like if you go to a restaurant and somebody's gonna be um, like, you've got literally one chance to share to share the opportunity with them because the chances are you're never gonna see that person again. Um, that you don't really have the time to build the relationship with that person. So you can say to someone, listen, you pay them a compliment. You could be like, listen, your service was amazing. I really, really, really. Um, appreciated how you know how special you made us feel is there anywhere that we can leave you feedback for your service today um and if they say yeah yeah that'd be great and you could say listen have you have you heard of it? like and then that's your that's your opportunity to offer them their own business in using those skills that you've seen them um using today or well you've had that service from them they've used those skills and there, there's your opportunity to point out like I'm looking for people who are um, great at customer service and, you know, people like you to have their own online business. Have you considered? And obviously there's your opportunity. There's so many ways you can say it. You've got to do what feels right for you. So just, but just do it. If they say no, they say no. It's not the end of the world. Um, like Lisa said, we've got to go for those no's, but you've done it and you make it part of your, when, you know, whenever you go out, if you make it part of what you do, the opportunities will never, ever stop coming. Never, literally never. Um, one thing that holds a lot of us back from sharing the opportunity is our perception. Um, something I've talked about a lot at the moment. Something somebody said to me about, um, it was really, really powerful. So I have, um, you know, we're all guilty of it. Our behavior is due to our perception. So do you perceive somebody like you have somebody on your dream team, 
you know, the like, activity of writing down your dream team. Have you got somebody on that dream team, but you perceive that they don't want their own sensi business because they have never asked you about it or they've never shown any interest in having their own business because they've literally never said it to you. So you've therefore perceived, we're all guilty of it, every single one of us, you've therefore perceived that they're not interested. But what if their perception is you don't want them, you don't think they'd be very good because you've never asked them, because you've never suggested it to them. You've never said, wow, do you know what? You would be amazing at Sensi. You would be absolutely amazing. You should totally give it a go. You know, you can be totally relaxed, totally friendly about it. I find that's a far better approach than, um, how do you, have you considered having your own Sensi business? Like I'm, t I'm far more relaxed and um, sort of general about it. But they might be sat there thinking, I guarantee you, I guarantee you there is at least, at least one person on your dream team who you perceive doesn't want to join, but they probably think that you don't want them to join. Does that make sense? I've not worded that very well. But I guarantee you there's at least one person that when you ask them, they will want their own business. I guarantee you. So don't try, you've got to not play God. You've got to not think, oh, um so-and-so's got a really um a really good job they've got a really exciting life um you know they've they've got a great job from all the qualifications they've got they definitely wouldn't be interested wrong that is so wrong you don't know because they because your perception is that they've got all of those things your perception is that they've got the greatest job in the world and they're happy in their job blah 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 how do you, how can you choose to decide that Sensi wouldn't work for them? It's not down for us to decide whether it would. It's down for us to share it and offer it. And we're just, that is our, literally, that's our job, sharing and offering. Um, doo -doo -doo, sorry. So, yeah, so you just need to ask people. You just need to ask. And just think about how you do it, that you do it in that friendly um about them way it's not about you it's about them you know all the things that we've tried to teach you so i'll put them together um so yeah i've talked about believing in the opportunity when you believe it you'll find it so much easier to share because you you believe it it's so important and when you believe it people are people will be so 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 interested in what you're saying if you truly believe it you know when we see those great reviews on products and stuff like that because we're seeing somebody when somebody recommends something to us we're seeing um because they recommend it it becomes and because they genuinely love it it becomes really authentic and cre it's got a lot more credibility that's exactly what will happen if you believe in the opportunity so when you're offering it don't overcomplicate it don't overcomplicate the business don't be worrying too much about giving them um, all the information in one go, like what they'll earn, what they'll, um, what they could, um, about shooting star, about all the promotions, just don't overcomplicate it, keep it simple. It is literally the simplest business. We, you buy the business, buy, host, join. That's it. You literally get products for, you can sell products, you can do parties and you can build a team. That's like your ways of making an income. That's all they need to know. You can ask them, have you got any questions? And then that's their opportunity. Like don't, if you send them, if you give them way too much information, it's just gonna be like, oh, overwhelm them and they're probably gonna um, not respond to you. So it's really, really, really important that you just share the business in an exciting way. So, you know, you can say like literally the products themselves, you get an amazing kit. The products themselves, once people try them and smell them, they'll love them, absolutely love them. And um, they sell them themselves. Like we let the smelling do the selling. So um, there's the buying and then obviously people can have parties. You know, they don't have to be like really um, structured parties. They can be really relaxed, just a couple of friends around or go to a coffee shop. And then you can bring more people in to do it too. And then you can earn an income off those as well. It's really simple. It is a simple business plan. The less complicated you make it, the easier it is to share. Um, and there was something else I really wanted to say on this. So there's different ways of obviously doing that. 
um wow well, there was something i really wanted to say and it's gone out of my head that's my own fault for not writing it down um there's different ways of doing this obviously when you're out and about and on social media i mean if you can if you can become confident out and about i know it's scary but remember five four three two one as mel robbins said just go for it just do it there's literally there's you and then there's where you want to be um your dreams and your goals and then all that stood in the middle is yourself like the only thing stood in the middle of where you want to be is yourself so you just need to move yourself out the way and start offering the opportunity and just like try and offer it at least once a day and this is like, like i said the places you can find team members are unbelievable um one of the things like lisa touched on yesterday but again i wanted to reiterate it's never too early to recruit you are never ever ever gonna know everything it's impossible i don't know everything i know i know my knowledge is really rubbish like i know what i know as most people do but there is so much i don't know i am literally like sometimes i'm like how the hell did i even do this because my knowledge is so bad but i just love the opportunity so don't ever let your perception of your knowledge hold you back don't ever think oh it's just not the right time I can't give them enough support. You don't need to be the one giving them all the support. Obviously, the more you put into people, the better it'll be for your business. But there's a whole network of support, like a whole network, a whole team group that they get added to. I'm sure that they'll find new relationships within the community that they get added to. You know, it doesn't have to be all on you. They get this information from Sensi. Um, and there's so much so many resources out there for you guys to share with them um and then one thing that um another way of like one thing people i think how can i explain this really well so people can think say oh i've asked everybody and no one's interested how do you think like people who've been in the business like literally i'm just like oh really um how do you think people who've been in the business since the beginning for 15 years and they're still recruiting do you think it's taken them 15 years to ask everybody they know no absolutely not they'll have asked everybody they knew years ago like 14 years ago that they knew at that time you have got to find so you've got your one market which is the people you know this is kind of like fraser brooks kind of talk and you know like that kind of thing but it, it, it's a great way of looking at it you've got because we're in network marketing we're networking You've got your warm market. You've got the people that you know, your friends, your family, um, your hairdresser, like people you've got a relationship with. They are your warm market. And then you've got a cold market. And your cold market is never, ever, ever ending. Never. You will never run out of people. Not once. There is literally, there's people turning 18 every day. So they're like, there's a whole, I mean, how many people probably turn 18 every day? every single day there's a whole load of new people who can join your team every single day so you've got your cold market people like for example people in your cold market are your um i'm just going to give an example your mom has a she goes to a bingo on a thursday night with a group of friends those group of friends you don't actually know them so they're in your cold market because you don't have a relationship with them. But you can obviously, you have got a connection to them through your mum. So you've got that connection to those people that your um, that your mum knows through your mum. And you can, as we say, warm up your cold market. You can get to know them. You can say to your mum, like, mum, I'm really trying um, to grow my Sensi business. I'm really, really trying to build my network. Is there any way you could introduce me? To your friends they could have an online party or she could have a party for you there's a million ways where you could warm those people up maybe you've got a um a hairdresser or a, a nail technician or you know a beautician who you know has got a great network you, if you have that relationship with them you can say to them would it be possible for um me to like leave some catalogues or pop, pop a warmer in your salon or you have a, even have a party would it be possible to do those things and that they are opening up their entire like network for you to then grow into for you to warm up and build relationships with i so an example is i have a um 
one customer in Jersey. I did have one customer in Jersey. She um, she came to me and she was buying from me and she really wanted to join, but obviously Jersey is, we can't recruit in Jersey. Um, and she really wanted to join and I could see like the potential of what I was missing. So I said to her, why don't you have an online party? And then like we can have, I could do like a running online party for you. So you're basically sharing it with your friends and family. You get the free products um, as a, like as a perk that has opened up an absolute world of opportunities for me i have like none of them are recruitment opportunities yet um but the sales opportunity that i've had from that one lady in jersey has been phenomenal i sell a diffuser a month at least through that one person that i knew in jersey that i asked her to have a party for me and it opened up the whole like her whole network in jersey for me that's literally, it's been a huge, huge transformation for my business. And because I treat them really well, I, you know, I do all the things that we should do to keep um, people coming back to us. I try and really, really look after them. That has really, really grown um, my sales side of things. But what I think as well, where that fits into growing my team is they are, a lot of those know people in, on obviously the main island of the UK where I can actually build my team. So one of the, you know, I'm, I keep working on them, I keep I keep talking to them, I keep building my relationships because I know that eventually there's gonna be someone over here who is gonna to want to build my team, uh, join my team. But I've just got to constantly keep working on those and I'm constantly working on those relationships and looking for those opportunities. With my opportunity goggles on, I'm looking for them all the time. So um, how long have I been? I don't actually know. Um, but yeah, so basically that's the warm and cold market explanation. So what we want you to do, obviously in the activities today, uh, watch this live and submit any thoughts in the comments, any feedback, anything you feel like you really need help with, if there's anything um, more we can give you on this subject. And then what I want you to do now is I don't know if you, any of you guys have done the 100 list. Um, I'm not going to ask you to do that. What I want you to do is think of 10 people in your cold market. So like I explained, somebody that you don't directly have a relationship with, but somebody in your warm market who you do have a relationship with knows. Um, and I want you to start warming them up. I want you to start looking at ways where you can warm up people from your cold market. So make, for example, if your husband has a, um, and I mean, don't write your husband's friends off. Never, ever write your husband's friends off. Like um, my husband at work, he has, um, well, there's a couple of you in here who have come to me and joined my team through my husband at work because he's, um, you know, through people he knows, through your husband's or whatever, you know, don't ever write off anyone. So if your husband works, if you're, sister goes and gets her um, feet eaten by fish or whatever that thing is, you know, does she, where does she go? Is there an opportunity there? I just want you to start thinking about 10 people minimum, if you can think of more, amazing. And I want you to start warming them up. I want you to start warming up those 10 people in your cold market. I'm gonna swipe the comments better. I'm gonna swipe, I want you to start warming up those 10 people in your cold market and thinking how you can, um, how you can start building a relationship up with them. Ideally, I'd like you to um, go book a party or something like that, but not everybody can do that. Perhaps an online party, um, something like that, where you can get to know 10 people that are from your cold market. Does that make sense? I'll obviously, I'll write it again. And if anyone's got any questions and want me, I'll write it as a separate post. Um, and if anyone's got any questions that they want me to go over in, um, for the activities today just let me know but I really hope that helps I um as we've said already your first place to start is your customers ask your customers literally say gosh you love Sensei you should join I had someone contact me the other day she um it was from one of my frontline who's dropped off she contacted me and she said um Hi, yeah, um, and I used to buy from so-and-so, but obviously she stopped now. Can I, am I allowed to buy from you? And I was like, people just don't know. They really don't know. Um, and I was like, yeah, absolutely. Of course she can. And she, then we got chatting and she was like, oh God, I just love Sensi. I love it so much. Like I've got loads of stuff. And I was like, are you for real? Like, have you ever thought about joining? If you love it that much, you should totally join. 
And then that's it. That started me a joint conversation. She's coming around at about half 11 today and we're going to have a chat about it. So you just never know where these opportunities are going to come up from. But you've just got to grab them with both hands and you've got to never miss one. And don't be playing God. Don't be deciding that they... Um, that they don't want the opportunity because you just don't know who doesn't want this opportunity like seriously all right just let me read if there's any questions i know there's a bit of a lag when i've swiped him my hubby is taking a basket party into his work because he's a warmer in his office and has had a lot of interest so fingers crossed oh that's amazing that's great i love that color on you is lovely by the way oh thank you <laughs> I nicked, it, I nicked the idea of chloe cox can your candle do this and it's got a, sorry i'm like i'm flashing my boobs um since you go there, some pods, some more pods. Yeah, yeah that's how you get recruits. <laughs> uh, right, guys, I'm going to go. But thank you so much for hopping on. And I really hope that's helped. I really hope that's inspired at least one person. Um, keep giving us feedback. It really, really helps us make the um, training as like energetic and as powerful as we possibly can. Um, so, yeah, love you all. Bye.